For my kingdom, my kind, for Brindis my, and Silas, my son. Roderick. He's Roderick's son. Is that what we're going for here? And I played a- The first thing I did when I met him was play a song about his cowardly father. Is that what happened? Well, Tilo, what say you? The message, it's from your father? Aye. But if what this says is true... My father was Roderick, the last Rat King. Son of a bitch. Have I read this specifically yet? It's been a while, if not. If I have. Uh, king Roderick possesses the dubious honor of being the last Rat King in history. He famously fled his charge in a time of crisis more than 30 years ago. Just when he, just when he was most needed by his subjects. He disappeared with the Singing Stone in order that no king would ever again sit rightfully upon the throne. He lives on an infamy, a fear of ridicule and many a song, the most famous being the Ballad of the Coward's King. Thirty years ago he fled with the Singing Stone. It says no one will be the king again rightfully because of this lack of Singing Stone, but is nobody currently the king? Is there no current king, or is there just not an, a, a one that's anointed that way? And is the current king not a rat? I understand now why your mother hid you away. Shame. If the Red Paw thought there was an heir to the throne, the barons would have had me killed. I know. This is why you were soused. Wouldn't you be? Silas's tail sparked something in you. You hummed to yourself the first few notes of a new lay, the Ballad of the Orphan Prince. Well now, that's enough about me, don't you think? How goes it with you? Silas, Mara wasn't aboard the ship. She'd given up her place to another. Aye. You might have said something about it in the commissary. Do you know the name of the doe who took Mara's place? Pharaoh. Mara gave her place to a doe named Pharaoh. And did you get her family name? No, but she had a son named Tam. Tamlin, does that help? No, it's not enough. I can't send out a scap without a full name. Else Yuva is going to start asking questions. What about the ship the Doe was meant to be on? Do you know its name? Yes! It was something like the Rat Skeleton, I think. Oh, she was aboard the Rat Skeleton out of Port Skarn. The Rat Skeleton? Tila, will you fetch me my logbook? It's on the table downstairs. Here, I already have it. You stole my logbook? I thought you might need it? Come on, give it to me. All right, let's see. The signal rat opens the log and runs a claw down the page. Here. Part of a general news dispatch received on the 13th. Is the 13th passed already? The prison transport arrived here on the 12th. Tilo. The rat skeleton was reported lost in the cloak of Paraclave. I... I don't believe it. I can't. Should I read you the entire message? Would you? I need to hear it. Listen. On the twelfth day, the, the Rath Skellen, crewed by nine, laden with sundries and carrying twenty-seven prisoners, was reported late by the har harbormaster of Orandus. The vessel was last seen by the bosun of the Emerald Hind. Of course. Off course and heading into the Cloak of Paraclave. And so is pronounced lost. Tilo, I know you don't want to hear it, but Mara's gone. 
You don't know that. She... What if she swam to shore? The waters there are freezing, Tilo. The currents alone are treacherous. The Valian frog wouldn't last more than a few minutes. Perhaps, perhaps a passing ship could have found her. I doubt you'd be able to see much further than a few feet. No captain would dare risk such a rescue attempt. What about pirates? Perhaps she's been kidnapped. Tilo, please stop. Listen to me. This isn't one of your stories. I just... Tilo, I'm sorry. Even if she were alive, there's no way for us to trace Mara now. You may as well ask a magpie. I haven't actually read this yet, have I? Among magpies, knowledge is a commodity and a currency, prized above all else. Each fragment of information gathered is carefully evaluated for its relative worth. Rumors, tall tales, even fiction, all have some value. Indeed, rumors can be most valuable of all. Rough fragments of knowledge that can be polished up and passed on at a higher price. Even single words can have a value given context. Some magpies mine raw information to sell on, while others will break up individual sentences into, va into valuable parts and pass them on. These magpies are known in the trade as liars. The knowledge of magpies is prized greatly, as they are considered to, ha to be custodians of the absolute truth. Indeed, such value is placed upon their council that only head of states and nobility can afford it. You may as well ask a magpie. What did you say? You've heard the expression, surely. Is this just the same thing? Yep. Wait, you mean... No, Tilo, no. No, no, no. A magpie. You're gonna get yourself killed. Besides, magpies will only speak with noble creatures and kings. What's going on here? Magpies and mice. Following the War of the Green Flame, noble mice were stripped of their titles, and mouse lands were confiscated. Mice have no king, nor wealth, and so it is that no magpie has spoken to a mouse in generations. Oh... This is where you have to get the... King set. Is every set mandatory in this game? I'm not sure which ones were necessary so far. To them, anything less is a meal. Then I shall become king. Here, then. Silas hands you a scarlet tunic, finished with gold piping and fine handwork. A beadwork. Oh shit, that's all I needed. Now I'm the king of Meridia. Easy. A gift from my father. It's incredible. Where did you find this? In the bundle you brought back from the tomb. I hope you make a worthier king than he ever was. Oh shit, it's actually... It's actually the costume of Roderick the King. It's not even a... That's not even an imitation, it's actually Roderick the King's tunic. Although he was a rat, so I'm not sure how it's fitting. Well, shit, Silas, you turned out to be important. Tilo? What's wrong? Lost your nerve? About your father, the king. Aye, what of him? You're Roderick's son, but... That makes you a prince. No. No, it makes me the son of a coward. What was it your father took from the tombs? Whatever it was, he swore to return it. I guess he didn't keep his word. What now? Would you reclaim your, your throne? My throne? <laughs> the mongrel son of the coward king. I'm sure the barons would gladly give up their power to so noble an heir. Besides, the Singing Stone is lost. The Singing Stone of the Rat Kings, or the Stone of Ascension, is a carved, jet-black piece of rock, about the size of a rat's clenched fist. Its origin is lost, even to legend, but its importance is known to all. The heirs of a Rat King are not assured the right of ascension. Any rat may challenge for the right to hold the stone. It said the stone will sing the praises of the future monarch, if they are indeed worthy. But the stone has been lost. Some think Roderick took it with him when he fled, in order that no usurper could steal the throne in his absence. Others, however, believe that the barons of the Red Paw have buried the stone, so they might rule the Ratlands unopposed. 
Right, so the rat barons are what we have now instead of a king. Will you keep searching for your father's treasure now? Why? I found what I was looking for. I think I understand well enough. All right. About your early years, I'm curious. What is it you want to know? The Lutka in your footlocker. My Uma's, carved by her late husband. That's why you can speak Meridian? It's my native tongue. Meridian, the language of the mice. Meridian originated in the mouse lands of Meridia, annexed following the War of the Green Flame, and now under the rule of the Red Paw. While not outlawed, it is rare to hear Meridian spoken in public, for all trade is conducted and official pronouncements made in the common tongue. Still, the language survives the songs of wandering minstrels and is still spoken freely in the remote villages of what was once Northern Meridia. In recent years, the language has been a has seen a resurgence among mice folk. For them, the use of Meridian is political, a small act of resistance against the ever-present forces of the Red Paw and the gradual erosion of their culture. Do you stay in touch with Yoruma? No. No, she's been gone for some years now. I just couldn't bring myself to blacken her Lutka. So as a pup, you didn't know you were a rat? I was a bit slow back then. You were just a pup. I was already a good head taller than the other pups, and stronger too. Well... What is it they say? Rat pups grow fast and mice pups grow quick. How did you come to join the Rat Guard? On the day I became a buck, I received conscription papers from the Red Paw. I won't lie, the first few months weren't easy. My accent didn't help. Oh, because he spoke with a, a mice accent. The longest tail gets cut off first. It doesn't pay to stand out around here. And yet you keep dressing differently from everyone else as if to emphasize your differences. I think I understand well enough. All right. I wonder about your birth parents. Do you remember anything of your birth mother? Just vague impressions. And a lullaby she used to sing to me. Oh, this is where you get the lullaby I could have used against Fatal. If it wasn't for the fact that, like, that's so far past that now. Your mother's lullaby, may I hear it? I have not much of a voice, but... That's all I can remember of it. <laughs> I don't want to undercut these moments. It's very beautiful. Like mother, by all accounts. Your mother. Who was she to your Uma? Uma had been my mother's nursemaid years before. She told me mother was a doe of great, pi of great piety. What became of your birth mother? Who can say? I don't even know her full name. How did you come to be in Yoruma's care? My mother had come to the village one night, unannounced and in a panic. She begged Uma to take me in. I would have been no more than a few weeks old. It was the last time Uma saw her. There's something I don't understand about the rings. Oh? What's that? Why are the rings so important? What are they? They are the famed tail rings of the Rat Kings. A record of the secession going back to the time of the Green Flame. I never understood their significance. Why they'd been left to the Wardens of the Green Flame. 
The Wardens of the Green Flame, the heroes of the Battle of Paraclave, were laid to rest in 12 grand, uh, great tombs. 12. So maybe we have there, maybe we have 8 out of 12? Arranged in the vast circle of the southeastern edge of Lake Valia, symbolically watching over the place where the green flame fell. In the centuries since many... Uh, in the centuries since, many of the tombs have fallen into disrepair or collapsed entirely. Others have been forfeited fortified to establish a line of defense, a defensive keeps across, along the shore. The names of all but four of these heroes have been lost to time, but their deeds are celebrated still in songs and works of art. It's from these sources that the four greatest are known. Dunlain, the guardian of lost hope. Karim, the guardian of the travelers. Yarlan, the guardian of music. And Nikto, the Guardian of the Wind. So Yarlan and Nikto are still remembered, at least. Hmm. Uh, did Dunlin give credit to Yarlan or someone else, though, as being the, the primary big person that was kind of forgotten but led the charge? I never understood their significance, why they'd been left with the Wardens of the Green Flame. Not until I opened the scroll case you found. The second ring, how did you find it? Where? It's not a short tale. Are you sure you want to hear it? Please, I want to know. How did you find the second ring? All right. I was assigned to a convoy, escorting the Baroness from Pesa to the capital. On the fourth night, we made camp at the Temple of Karim. The Guardian of Travelers. I was ordered to escort the Baroness to the Reliquary. The Reliquary. So she could offer Karim her prayers. The reliquary, what's it like? It's seen better days, but Karim's remains are still there, laid out in the open sarcophagus, the head of the temple. It was as the Baroness knelt before the altar that I saw it. A ring almost identical to my mother's hung on a chain around Karim's neck. Wait, you stole from a corpse? Finding it there. It was fate. It's hard to believe. Look, I'm not one for superstition, but there it is. And in time, I learned that the other rings had been discovered in tombs and temples of the Wardens of the Green Flame. Some had been stolen, some lost. It's taken me years to track them down. You were discharged from the Rat Guard, why? That was not a long story, by the way, at all. I've served five years. My time was almost up, but soldiering somehow came easily to me. It was something I was good at, so I re-enlisted. Besides, the Red Paw has access to places civilians can't go. It's how I found the second ring. I think I understand well enough. Alright. Perhaps this isn't important right now, but... What is it, Tilo? Your spyglass. I'm still working on getting it back to you. I have faith in you, Tilo. Maybe I can get the blacksmith to just make one. Then we're set. I don't know the dialogue here. Nope, there's no dialogue there. Forgive me. I really should go. Aye. Go find that magpie. Go. Well, Silas got interesting. In that he turned out to be Alistair. And now I'm the king! Ha 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 ha! Although I'm still a mouse. Do people see, primarily see me as the king or as a mouse? Either way, I should do a little quick save before I wander out there. Also, I think the voices of the two characters... Not that they were that dis not that they were that separate to begin with, but I think they started getting more and more similar as it went on. <laughs> getting a little hoarse. I've been playing this game all day, and we did D and D for t for like three hours. Then I went back to playing this game, <laughs> and then got the biggest lore dump of the entire game. And I'm like, ah, okay, this is gonna wear me down a little bit. But I want to see what's happening. I don't want to stop yet. Let's see how they react to me. That's not a good sign. 
That's not a good sign. All right. It turns out that they uh, will definitely hunt me down. Please don't come get me. Cool, they're going back. That was concerning. All right, rat uh, king disguise is not working out here. Shit. They turned back and saw me again. They kind of almost hype it up like they're going to catch you, but I don't think they ever have. Only one ability to go. Well, don't look- don't you look fine. If the mice are ever in need of a king, they could do worse than ask you. There's really nothing else to do there, is there? Nope. Well, you said you wanted to see it, so I came back so you could see it. I'm going to now dress in, in the thing that people don't attack me over. So how are we doing on quests now? Test, yeah, Gusto and Finale. Yep, let's see if I can get the spyglass back. That didn't go well. Excuse me, sir. Wonder if everyone's been arrested yet. He's back. Will you teach me one of your skills? All right. So what do you want to learn? The long drop. Like I told you, we can teach you how to recover quickly from a hard landing. All right. The two mice demonstrate how to safely land. The first thing you learn in any martial art. All right, then. That's it for now. The spyglass I gave you. I need it back. Why? Silas knows it was me that took it. I'm not sure how how that's I'm not sure how that's our problem. Huh, he's no too long, that's for sure. That rat wouldn't even remember he'd uh, he'd ever owned a spy glass if too long had taken it. He's that good. A prisoner. No prison can hold too long. He comes and goes as he pleases. It said he once escaped Dwindling Heights disguised as Baron Osric himself. Do I know that one? I think I do, yeah. He was here in, he was here in our cell earlier, did we tell you? I'd do anything for too long. Aye, maybe I'd even give him that spyglass. Boy, Tilo, come here and come and see me later tonight, when Gusto's asleep. What was that if I tell? Nothing, I was just taunting him some more. Ha ha ha. So it sounds like you can get the spyglass back if you come back here at night. Or I can just be... Oh, it's too long the thief. How? What timing? It's almost like when when Superman appears. The moment Clark Kent disappears. T too long. You're back. Tell me the last three things you've stolen. You take out your songbook and pretend to write. Oh, well now. There are so many. Let's see. We stole a handkerchief from a guard. That's it. Oh, we took a blacksmith's hammer. Uninspired. Excuse me? Just thinking aloud. A and we stole the spyglass! You want to see it? Fatal, get the spyglass, quick! Ah, yes, of course, here. The mouse hands you Silas the spyglass. So, what do you think? I'll review your application and let you know. Oh, we'll look forward to he hearing from me, Master Dulong. I hope it won't take... Too long. Shh. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me? Oh. No, it's gone. Farewell. I'll be back before too long. Yeah. Master criminal. <laughs> I took it. They fell for it. They don't even realize how easy they are to steal from. Also, the shit that they're saying they stole is not even entirely things that they stole. A handkerchief's embarrassing, because I've stolen countless of those myself. And, uh... They did steal the blacksmith's hammer. I had to get it back from them. But now i got the spyglass back, which I stole. But, you know... 
Now I've got it again, so like it's like it's almost like I didn't steal it. Haha. -ha. And frankly, I've stolen and given back like everything Silas has had. I've been really curious about that though. The loot cause. I don't remember if they said exactly who gets loot cause. I have every ability in the game now. Uh lore. Miscellaneous. Loot cause in here are in here? No items. Okay, never mind. A loot cuz carved when you get married and have children. Okay, so that, that dismisses my previous idea before we got the truth, of course. Because at one point I was like, oh, what if, what if my son had a loot cuz? Hey, the stool. Hey, the place where I need to use the stool. Hey, a bottle. That's, that's disappointing. <laughs> but at one point I was wondering if the Lutka could have been Bryn's Lutka. And that's why he had them. I had other theories, but reviewing the lore reveals that that's not an option. God, there's so many bottles in your house, Silas. You might have an, you might have a problem. I mean, besides the part where if anyone knew who you were, they'd murder you. Ha ha ha. Dilo, what about the magpie? Here. I- I lied. I did steal your spyglass. Here, take it. How did you fit this in your pouch? It's strange, isn't it? At least you did the right thing, eventually. Forgive me, I shouldn't have taken it. Forget it, let's move on. There's no- there's no new dialogue here, right? Go on, before it's too late. We're like running out of game, possibly. Although I've said that for a while now. But now the quests are down to talk to the magpie as the king and find the one missing guard, which maybe the magpie will give me access to an area that that guard is in. I swear I've looked around for this dude. Like, where the hell is he? Watching the quest log dry up is almost sad. <laughs> I don't really want to be here anymore, though. I think it's more that I've, I've gotten used to the characters and the setting, and I kind of want to spend more time with them. But I don't necessarily want to spend more time in Dunlin Heights. But given the scale of this game, I suspect there might not be many locations left to play in. So, if there's any more game... If, uh, if I'm going to spend any more time with these characters, I suspect you may have to come back in a different game instead of uh, hoping for more of this one. Okay, um... Right, the catacombs. I'm trying- I was like trying to think like, how am I going to get to... The magpie? I haven't thought about how to get there for a while. Down we go. I'll take a moment to review my songs. Which ones have I not done yet? Because I might have to do that soon if I want to... About done that. Done that. Done that. Done that. The Orphan Prince. So I have not played The Orphan Prince because I just thought of that one. And I have not done... The poisoned cup. And it makes some sense that I wouldn't. Those are both kind of the... The bad news songs. They're both songs that maybe you wouldn't want to sing. One of them gives inform- One of them reveals information about... Silas that's dangerous to him, kind of. And the other one... Is, uh... The song that they had Mara... They tried that the Baron tried to force Mara to sing, and then that's what led to our separation and eventually, seemingly, her death. Although we don't know for sure yet. I'm kind of hoping that we'll have like a 
sort of a natural point in the story to play them. NPCs, pro NPCs prompt me to play songs a lot. And I'd rather have an NPC prompt me to play a song at some point than, uh... Why am I still dressed like this? Hail the noble king of old. I'd, ra I'd rather have some NPC prompt me to play a song than, uh, deal with... Hello? Then just play them at random for the commander, which is one of the only people you can play songs for. Um, although I might be able to play songs for Fatal when she's tired now. Is the magpie gone? Oh. Seems safe. <laughs> huh. No, these would open earlier. Now they all open, and not even with a key. They open via magic. Not that one, though. That one doesn't contain the magic. Save. You know, in case I jump down the hole and just die. Be a little anticlimactic. And there's the anticlimax. <laughs> I was wrong.